In this video, we will be viewing the graphic tab within the Exhibitor Zone. You will start first by going to Coleman.com. Once you have located the Exhibitor Zone dropdown, locate the show that you will be participating in. For example purposes, we will use ONS. Once this Exhibitor Zone has uploaded, scroll further down to find the graphic tab. In here, you'll find documents, guidelines of your artwork, how to submit the artwork, dimensions for panels and counters, your exhibitor service specialist who you can contact for your booth layout, the forms to order your graphic artwork, as well as instructions on how to purchase. The first document we'll review is the graphic guidelines. In here, you will find what is required in the artwork, what formats it can be submitted in, as well as examples of acceptable and unacceptable artwork and logos. The next document is the FTP instructions. This is where you will upload all of your artwork for printing. Here is the URL that you will need to submit the files in, as well as the username and password to log on. Here is where you enter your username and password. It is the same username and password for all shows. Once you have logged on, you will scroll down till you find your show. Double click on it. Next, you will add a new folder. This folder should be named after your company. For instance, I will upload a Coleman.com. Double click on the Coleman page, and now I will add artwork. I will find the file, and start to upload it. Once you have uploaded your artwork, please email your exhibitor service specialist to let them know you have done so. Next is the panel and counter dimensions. Now this may vary for each show, but this will just give you an example of what the panel's visible sizes are. That way you can ensure that all your artwork is seen. If in case anything goes over in the blue area, it may be covered. Next is the email address of your exhibitor service specialist. This is a person you should email if you have any questions about your booth layout. For instance, if you have a three by three booth, this is what your layout may look like. Now again, it varies for each show, for the size of the panels, as well as what the booth may look like. For instance, this three by three booth has the A panels, which are a 234 centimeter height by 95 centimeters wide, and the B panels, which are 234 centimeters by height and 45 centimeters by width. Now this will change if you have a seamless graphic because there'll be one continuing printing Again, this is when you should email your exhibitor service specialist to let them know. Your graphic ordering form. This will be labeled as your US 3G. Once you've clicked on this page, it will direct you to the actual form itself. On here, you will see the first thing is the deadline. To ensure that you do not incur a late fee, please make sure you submit not just the order form itself, but the graphic by this date. When completing this form, also ensure that you've clicked the correct order place by date to make sure you have the right calculation for your price at the bottom. Here you will see the different options for your graphics. There are poster graphics, full panel graphics, and your seamless graphic. If you were to have a 3x3 booth and you want to completely cover graphics, you would have 7 full panel and 2 half panels. You can click calculate at the bottom to see what the price would be. If you want to do seamless for the same booth, you would have 7 and 2. If you are not sure of the amount of panels you will have, please contact your exhibitor service specialist to ensure you have the right number. Once you are okay with the order, click continue. Here you will see a summary of your order as well as where you submit your payment. Please ensure this information is correct so you do not have to be contacted by our billing department. If you would prefer to have written instructions, you can click on the purchasing order instructions.